we have parabola y equals x squared, a, b are on the curve with the constraint that all a is perpendicular to all b. We try to prove that nine segment a, b go through point zero one on the y axis. Pause the video to prove the problem. All right, let's continue. Usually nine equation is y equals kx plus b where k is a slope and b is the intercept. Here we want to prove b equal to one. Now in this case, we would like to use a different form of equation. The straight line, if it does not pass through the origin, it can have a form ax plus by equal to one. This is equivalent form, but this form is going to be useful for us. We're going to show the trick later on. Okay, so if this is a straight line, when we try to find the intersection with the parabola, right? So we need to say y equal x squared, and then try to find the solutions. Usually there are two solutions. That is the point A and B on the curve. Now with this form of a straight line, what we can do is we multiply y on both sides. Okay, so multiply y on both sides. Now notice that y equal x square. We're going to replace y on the right hand side with x square. That will become this one. Now we're going to do another trick here. This is a homogeneous equation in x and y. The degree is also two, right? So we divide x squared on both sides. What do we get? We're going to get this. When you think about it, let's look at this equation. Okay, this equation, if we treat y over x, it represents the slope of the line between 0, 0, the origin, to the point. Here, the point of interest is a and b, right? The intersection point that satisfies both the straight line equation and y equals x squared equation. In other words, this is a quadratic equation in this form and in the variable y over x, which happens to be the slope, k. So we have two solutions and we know that k1, k2 is perpendicular. In other words, the multiplication is negative one, right? Because OA, OB are perpendicular to each other. So k1, the slope, k2, this negative one, in the, which means in the quadratic equation, the product of two roots, right, is in this case, is negative one over b. Of course, if the whole thing is negative one, b must be equal to one. So what is the meaning of that? The meaning is that the equation here we're talking about, the straight line, such that this condition has to be b equal to one. Now this straight line always go through point zero one. So proof is done. All right. So let's look at the alternative approach. Or we can start from the given, right? So we'll try to prove that the straight line goes through zero one. We're gonna say what the straight line through point zero one. That's gonna be y equal case plus one. So we try to find the straight line with parabola y equal x square to the intersection point. Let's say a and b, right? x1, y1 is coordinate. And x2, y2 is the other coordinate, right? You plug in y equal x square, what do you get? You got a quadratic equation. Rewrite it like this, right? Quadratic equation here. Notice that the slope, you know, that is y over x. In this case, because it's on the parabola, y over x is actually equal x, because y equal x square. So the product of the slope, two solutions is x1 times x2. Of course, x1, x2 are the roots of the quadratic equation. We know that that's equal to negative one, right? So we know that this nine, which go through zero one, when intersect with parabola, the two points satisfy that OA, OB are perpendicular with each other. Okay, and then you can go backwards and prove. Okay, so basically, in either way, we have shown that if the condition is true, then we can conclude the nine segment AB has to go through the point zero one. 
all right hope you like the video please like share and subscribe